All right, good morning, guys. Uh, it's uh, Ryan from the Florida JL Guy. Today we're going to build a shelf to go on the back of the JL. Let's see. So, behind these panels, Cheaper Jeeper told us that there are bolt holes. Again, not sure what they're for, but it should be on both sides. So I'm gonna take those panels off. I've got my uh, fire extinguisher mounted over here. We'll have to relocate that somewhere. That eh, shouldn't be a problem. I'll find somewhere to put it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut the materials that we need. And then I'll come back and show you those. I actually have the measurements that I took from uh, Cheaper Jeeper and I will, uh, I'll give you the measurements for everything. And it's just gonna be a simple shelf that's gonna go across from here to the other side. It'll probably hang about right here. I wanna try to keep it below the, below the seat level where it doesn't interfere in our vision from the front if, uh, if we have it in there when we're driving. Just extra storage shelf. So uh, I'll get everything cut up and we will Come back. All right, guys, here's what I did. So I had some angle iron, this angle iron here with, um, I'm not even sure what they call it. It's got it from Lowe's. It's cheap. Um, actually, I have the receipt right here. <clears throat> so that one piece was, let's see. One sixteen and a half inch. Yeah, it's maybe eight dollars. Um, this flat stock, which was this one, I had this left over from another project. This one, it's like six dollars. Um, nuts and bolts and everything, two dollars, two dollars. And uh, got some ratchets to, to do my uh, strap for the for the top support. So anyway, not looking at very much money anyway. And also had the, uh, the plywood here and I'll, for the shelf. And I'll cut that, to put that in in just a minute, and then we'll do that. So anyway, I'm going to get all this stuff bolted together. Uh, these are the bolts and the nuts. And let's see, those bolts were, there were six of them. They're uh, 5 sixteenths inch by 3 quarters. I believe that's what it was. There's the nuts for it. Five sixteenths. Uh, for the screws that go uh, into the roll bar. That's what you're going to need there. Uh, metric 8 by 1.25 by 20. Um, the washers to go on something. We'll figure out what it, is, what it goes to in a minute. Um, and then just regular washers, like I said, for the 5 sixteenths. Okay, so we'll get it all over to the Jeep. I'll, uh, well, I'll put it together. And maybe I'll get my tripod set up for you, and then I can actually do this. Let's see if we can do it. Uh, let me watch you put it together. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, that was a pain. So what I, what happened was, I drew, so I cut these down, everything, an inch down. I measured that inside hole there an inch too short, so I had to go out another inch. So that's three and seven eighths on that inside because that's the distance we have on our holes between the pole, let me do this, the poles here, okay? On the uh, roll bar. All right, so now I have everything I believe in the right position. Let's try to do this again. Um, I have some washers. Hold on, that I found. All right, I have some washers that I found. I'm just gonna put these on the on the front of these. In the on the angle, that angle bar, I've got something number two and number eight hole line up. I'm putting the tilt this down. 
if you guys were just here, I would have to move this camera around so much. All right, so show you what I'm doing. All I'm doing is putting a washer on here. I think it's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is actually the round one. And I'm gonna put a lock washer on the back side of it. Hold on. Like a nylon washer. So I got those at Lowe's also. Um, you can use whatever size screws you want to use. It doesn't really matter. Um, and, and bolts. Um, just make sure when you get the angle iron, this angle bracket iron, whatever you call it, that you find the nut, the bolts that'll fit in the hole. And then uh, uh, these have to be the exact right ones, the ones that go into the thing. I think that, like I said, it's a number, uh, let's see. All right, this is a number. You got that? Eight. One, uh, a metric eight dash 1.25 by 20. All right, and those are the ones we're gonna put actually into the uh, roll bar. Okay, we got that one there. Let's put this one in number two. Like again, I got these from a cheaper Jeeper. He's got all the information. And I just had to change it because of my things were different sizes. So the wrench will be a half inch on the outside and a 13 millimeter works on the other side. Tighten these down. These are ratchet uh, sockets are incredible. Get this thing tightened down, it ain't gonna move, I know that. All right, so I'll get it almost all the way tightened down. Glad it in my toe, then we'll get the other one. Maybe I should do this, I'm not sitting down, it'll be a lot easier. Tool Safety 101 by Ryan, Florida, JL guy. Not. All right. Uncoordinated. Uncoordinated here today. Stand that up a little bit. Put this on here. Flip it over. Put this one over. There we go. Now, for the bracket, let's see if it'll fit. Put this back up. Can he make it fit? Let's see. So, trying to get it to go up and down pretty straight, actually, is what it does. So, I'll try, see if this, I don't know, that. I don't, might not need that spacer in there. Or if I use it, I might have to use a smaller one because it's. If I put that spacer in there, look, it doesn't have much grabbing room, so I get. I need to get a smaller spacer. You see it? Anyway, so either don't use it or use a smaller one. So for now, I'm not going to use it at all. I'm just going to put that on there and just make sure that's all going to fit. I might not even, uh, I might use a little small one, but. All right, there that went in, that's good news. And then this one, it's looking good so far. I'm not gonna use any washers because these, these bolts actually fit. The hole's pretty good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's going to be nice. All right, so let me move this one back here behind it. And put this last. <coughs> bolt on it's gonna go right there in that hole I'll take this back off that's gonna give a little bit of space 
by itself by me not even having to put nothing in there because it's got to have a little space off the back. Hey, D. Dog is talking. What do you say, buddy? Huh? Say hello? I'm no, sorry I got you in that pen, but I know how you like to run off. All right, let's see if we can get all this lined up here. Up. Stand by. I know you can't see me. Just moving, but just putting this bolt, less bolt in there. Eddie, what's the word? Huh? What you say, Eddie? Make sure you put it in the right hole. That's really bad. Great camera work there, Ryan. All right. So just putting this in the last hole here. Don't worry, the videos will get better, okay? All right, so that's all gonna be like that, that's gonna be like that, that's going in that hole. Get this one back in here. This one goes like this, like that. Eddie, why are you crying, buddy? Huh? So now, lift the camera back up. Well, I need an official camera person. Boy, the great reel was here, because he's a good camera person. All right, so there we go. There's that side. Let's get this started here. I will put some kind of spacer in behind this. This one's gonna hit on there, but anyway, so you got the gist of it, and that is level, roughly. Let's see, ah! Yeah, we'll get a level and put on there. Just to check, so let's turn around to this side. Do -do -do -do, do -do 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 -do. All right, let me get that other. Right, those two got those two. I need one more. Over there. All right, so got two in there. I need one more washer and bolt. Where's my bracket? Oh, yeah. So, not that I'll have to warn you guys because you guys are probably all experts, but when you drill that hole out, if you mess it up like I did, so don't mess it up first of all, but don't touch it because that thing was hot. All right, all right, so now. I'm gonna put this one together. We'll put that bottom one with another washer I found here. Now those people can laugh. They keep they laugh all oh, but your friends are ones that keep all the junk like I do. Every time like you, if you buy a TV mount or any of that kind of junk, it comes with all those little screws and stuff. You better keep it, I'm telling you. Because you'll use them sooner or later. Alright, now I'll tilt this back down you can see all right so make sure you got all these up right because once you tighten them, tighten them down you're not going to be able to get back to them all right 13 on the bottom half inch on the top here we go Eddie, don't cry, Eddie. Don't cry, Eddie. He's mad because he never has to stay in a pen, but I got him in a pen because he's running everywhere with the garage door open. So, can you see that? Mm, not really. All right, I'm gonna tighten this one, last one down. Oh. Nice, like put that first one tight. Because it's going to be straight up and down. This one, oh, shoo, shoo, shoo. a little bit tighter. Just, just, just 
still moving. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we got here. This is the last one. Last one don't have a lock washer. It's probably the one it freaking comes off. And have another one. Okay, it's a pack of four. So we're gonna leave that just like that. We'll do that like that. What is that? Increase somebody needs a brake job. Alright, so what spot is it in? It's an 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Alright. So oh, I should have left. Okay, there we go. Gonna put those behind it. I'm gonna line up the holes. Put in the top. Sorry about this camera work, guys. I know you're getting the gist of it, what we're doing. So I'm gonna put this back up here again for the other side. All right. So I do need. I'm gonna have to put some kind of spacer, like I said, behind this. I don't know yet what it's gonna be, but it won't be nothing too bad. Just a little. I have some uh, like round spacers that came from maybe an old Jeep, something I had. I don't know. Cut them. So, and get these last couple of bolts in here. This side, maybe. This is tighter than that other side. I don't know why. All right, yeah, there's one. And this one. Well, I gotta definitely change that bottom bolt out. That ain't gonna work. All right, stand by to see if I can get this back off. It's not gonna work. All right, I'll get this other one put back up and get the board cut, and then I'll. Okay, show you. guys, I'm back. The Florida jail guy. All right, here's the deal. Listen, it took forever to get those holes to line up, even though I drilled them like they said and I measured them again. So I had to go in there and kind of uh, just hollow out the holes. This side went on good. This side did not go so good, but I did get it in finally. Had to do some adjusting, but I got it in there. So now we've got the brackets on both sides. Pretty simple. Actually, it's straight, my camera's crooked. Um, pretty straightforward. So now all we need to do is measure. We'll see how straight it is, actually. It says 42. And the back says. Uh, yeah, 42 is great. We did 42. I obviously this was 18 inches let's see I can go back a couple more maybe make it 20 well no this actually doesn't look like it's yeah, we can do it 20 inches maybe the chair looks like it might hit right out there some reason it's kind of bowed in on the just kind of looking at the chair here the vent back seat it's kind of bowed in but I think it would be good with 20 inches all the way around should be clear so all right, so I got a piece of plywood sitting here, so it's 24. So I'll cut it, get it dry fitted in there, and we'll check it out. Oh, also, on this back one, I had to turn that bolt around because it was pushing it out too far. So I think it looks pretty good, though, now. So we'll make sure everything's good and tight. And I did round those down grind those down a little bit to make sure there wasn't sharp edges so nobody can get cut on those that's, that's good all right so i'll cut this board down and we'll put it up there all right good project number two coming to a close finally well long project number uh, two we'll call it project number three all right see you all right guys i cut it about uh 41 42 inches somewhere like that just measure whatever it fits for yours because the brackets are different ones so to bend that bracket out a little bit, and I'll put some screws in the bottom, just like that. I had to obviously cut it short because of that. I could notch it out, I guess, to make it a little bit longer, but it should be fine. This is, you know, that's pretty thick stuff there up at the bottom. And then this one's gonna come out a little bit on this side a little bit, so should be just perfect. It gives me a little room there on both sides, and I'll put some screws under the bottom. All right, you saw that's pretty simple. That's a pretty heavy, pretty heavy duty shelf there, so that should be perfect putting everything else I need up top plus the bottom. So I hope you enjoy this. Um, like I said, it's only my second video. 
So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I'll be making more as I go along. Uh, forget all the measurements real quick. I'll tell you exactly what we did again. The angle iron, I cut 18 inches. Uh, two of the pieces of steel, I think it's a, what, an inch by, by by inch by three feet. I think, hold on, I got the receipt again. 12 and a half, nine and a half, and six and a half, two of each. So you got the uh, flat iron there, 588, already had one, mine was a little smaller, but uh, you see there it's uh, 588. The angle was 878, I believe. And then the nuts, miscellaneous. So you're looking at what, eight, 13, wasn't that much, less than 20 something bucks, probably 25 bucks, because I had the rest of the material. So anyway, thanks for watching today. Please like and subscribe, and I'll try to get more. It's the uh, Florida JL guy. Y'all have a good day. God bless America.